What good Knicks Nation salute. Tonight we wrapped up the final preseason game for the New York Knicks. They faced the Washington Wizards in what would be a dress rehearsal for the starters. Jalen Brunson, Quentin Grimes, R.J. Barrett, Julius Randle, and Mitchell Robinson would get the lion's share of the minutes tonight since the regular season's right around the corner. And for tonight's game, it was Julius's turn to shine as he tallied 20 points on efficient shooting with 10 boards. But don't forget, we'd also get R.J. Barrett with 19 points, 7 rebounds, and 3 assists. He's looking ready to start that season strong. Unfortunately, this unfortunately the Knicks would lose to the Washington Wizards tonight because Jordan Poole thought it was a uh, revenge game against the Golden State Warriors, man. Decided to drop 41 points. And on top of that, we had Mike Muscala looking like prime Tony Kukoc. <laughs> but regardless, final score would be 131 to 106 with the Wizards getting the dubs. But have no fear. We are here to discuss all of that. Uh, I'm just glad that preseason's over. I'm ready for real basketball. That's it. Why is that, CK? <laughs> Just not not a fan of how today's game went. Uh, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to adopt the moniker as everyone in chat, as everyone on Twitter slash X, as you guys are saying, it's only preseason. So that's what, that's it. I'm living by it. It's only preseason. We'll get better basketball next yeah. Wednesday. We, it's, every single game we've had somebody else step up and, and really show out. It was RJ. Yeah. It was quickly. Then RJ, it was Grimes yesterday against the Celtics. And today we finally get a solid Julius Randle game. And look, man, to me, watching Julius Randle play, it's not it's not shocking at this point how talented he is and his ability to score and grab rebounds. We know that obviously it's, it comes down to can he perform in the postseason. But the one thing I will say about Julius's performances uh, preseason is that the fact that he looks if he looks like he's playing at a different level, man. He's being a little bit more decisive. He is not, he's not holding the rock as much as we typically see. Now, obviously, a two-game season. We may see that from time to time. But what it looks like right now is that he is making a quick decision. He either knows he wants to attack inside, catch and shoot, sidestep, uh, step back, whatever it may be. He's going out there and putting on a show and showing that he's ready for the regular season because, look, he talked about Rebecca Harlow today. He's upset that he was injured against the Miami Heat, that he wasn't able to play at his mm -hmm. top performance. So you know that he has a chip on his shoulder. Let's mm -hmm. see if that chip comes through, man, because we know he can We know he can perform. But to, tonight, man, it was a nice, encouraging sign from him, considering that other preseason games, you know, we got to see the decisiveness, but it didn't come together like it did tonight. So it was a good game for Julius. What were your thoughts on his performance tonight? Yeah, it, it's great to see him look polished um, in the final preseason game going into the regular season because – uh, that's the worry. You know, you, he had the surgery in the offseason. We weren't sure if he was going to be rusty. Um, we didn't really get to see a real big sample size of Julius Randle in the first three games. I mean, minus the last one since he didn't even play. Uh, this is what you want to see. It was, he was efficient. He looked uh, very uh, determined to, to score the damn basketball. Uh, we saw him go to the basket. We saw him uh, work from the post. And we saw him shoot the damn thing from the three-point line. I mean, what? He was like 60-something from three? What was he at? He was uh, four for six, 66.7%, 67. I like to round it up. Um, he, he looked he good. He, he, yeah, yeah. I ain't, come on, man. Preseason don't, don't deserve the points. They just round that thing up. Uh, but, yeah, no, nah, he, he looked good, and that's exactly what you want to see going into the regular season. I know – Everybody is upset with um, how he ended. You know, they want him to be the Julius Randle that we had throughout the season during the postseason. I get that. But we also have to remember the injury, and you want to see him playing at the level that he played at tonight going into the regular season to hope that we can uh, get another year of an all-star level uh, Julius Randle. Obviously, there's a few other things that um, Knicks fans are hoping gets fine-tuned with Julius Randle, but as far as basketball play strictly, I liked what he did today. Uh, defensively, there was some hiccups there, but I think that was just for the entire team, so I'm not going to throw that on Julius Randle alone. That, but let's move on to yeah. R.J. Barrett, man. R.J. got 34 minutes. The most of all the starters tonight went 8 for 19 from the field, 3 of 8 for downtown, 7 rebounds, 3 assists, 19 points in total. R.J. Give me free throws? Solid. No free throws. No free throws. We, we know how it we know how it goes, man. We we know yep. how it goes. We know how it goes. I don't want to discuss that certain ref tonight. She was yep. making some interesting calls. Yep. She clearly is going to the school of Tony Brothers, but that's yep. another story. Yep. Anyway, RJ Barrett looking solid, man, throughout this preseason. Didn't play yesterday. But for most of the preseason, I mean, game one didn't shoot efficiently, but got to the line, right? 
shoots yep. b- finishes better within the within the arc in game two. Yeah, not great from downtown tonight. You know, not the greatest three point shooting. I'm not expecting him to be a lethal sniper just to hit open threes when he gets the opportunity. He had some. He did some of that tonight. Um, but still, eight for nineteen. This is just kind of the typical RJ game. He's looking strong for his skill set, man. And hopefully we see this translate to the start of the season and no more slow starts. That's the big thing for me when we talk about RJ Barrett is that we know he can put up this type of production. He had a strong preseason last year too, but still came out of the gates slow. Can't start slow this season, man. He is in the pecking order, number three on this team. Got to come out strong. Got to help this team because the first 10 games is going to be a challenge. And R.J. Barrett is going to be relied on in order to keep the, 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 the boat afloat for the New York Knicks. And that's it. We'll catch you later, everyone. I'm Alex. This is CK2K. We out.